Hi guys, I don't know about you guys, but I go through fly rugs and sweet titch rugs like there's no tomorrow with my lot. Um, they're quite destructive with them. Anyway, I go through lots of them. So I thought I'd do a bit of a review on which ones that I think are great, which ones I think are not so good because I have the whole range at my place. Being that Corporal has allergy issues, he obviously always has to wear quite a good fly rug. Artie has sweet itch, so he has to really wear a decent rug. And even Billy has a fly rug. Keeps not doing a very good job of modeling this one. This is the Premier Equine Sweet Itch Buster. Now, I'll be honest, I've had this rug for quite a long time, so I don't know if they still make the same type. This is, how well you can see, this is a tough rug. If you've got a horse that's quite destructive with their sweet itch, then I would suggest this rug could be the one for you. You can already see there's a bit of damage on the back. Um, some of the things I don't like about it is that I find it's too thick for in the middle of summer. So if you've got a horse that does get hot easily, then you won't get on with it because it's, it's just too thick. The other thing is that it does move a little bit, I found. Not dreadfully, but just a small amount. And the only other thing I'm not such a fan of, and you'll see that I've actually cut it off, is the belly flap is normally really quite long on them. And I find that they end up hanging down and then I've had horses pee on them and just, so that's why I trimmed it. Um, but again, you know, it's got the ear bits at the top, so, you know, keeps the neck up really well. It's, it's a good all-round rug. It's not cheap but none of them are um but it's a good middle of the road rug if you've got a horse that's a bit destructive Next up, we've got the horsewear mio fly rug now this again is not the most expensive very thin so perfect when it's really really hot in summer sorry about the wind um however i find with this rug and i've had a couple of them i really should have planned this better um i found that the necks really slip down on these rugs and they can come a little bit tight on the chest and they do rip very easily. You can see the amount of holes. Now, obviously my horses are hitching, so nothing lasts very long. But for example, can you see how on there, like the stitching's come away quite quickly. This was all really quite early on. This rug isn't that old, um, but it's, you know, it's super, it's super thin, which is perfect for when it's really, really hot. Next up, we have Artie, kindly uh, modeling the Rambo, I can't remember, Sweet Itch hoodie. And I really like this rug. This is quite new to me. I only kind of decided to buy one of these last year because they are obviously on the pricey side. And I think I got this half price, which is the reason why I bought it. But I absolutely love the fit on it. It's the one with the vermouth. And I do think he has less flies. So I think it works. I mean, only, you know, if you wash it too many times, it'll take the vermouth out of it. But yeah, I love the fit of this rug. I love, it's just a nice material. It feels quality. I find that he doesn't get too hot in it in summer, which is one of his, he's a hot horse. So he does naturally get a little bit toasty in the summer. And I find this is the best rug for him. I like the underneath straps on it and everything. It doesn't get, it's not too big a belly flap under there. So it doesn't hang down too badly. I mean, my only thing would be is if they could make this a little bit stronger on the tail and the mane, like all sweet itch and fly rugs, because that's where they rub the most. But yeah, this is probably one of my absolute favorite rugs. And I think this is my third rug. Artie does get through really quickly. Um, yeah, I really, this is probably, yeah, this is probably not far off my favorite top rug. Next up, we have got this Mark Todd. Now I don't think they call it a fly rug, but it's definitely for the summer. Um, and it's kind of got the kind of stable sheet top with the kind of fly net underneath. And I really like the concept of this rug and I know they were very popular a few years back. Um, I've had this rug quite a long time and you can see I have taken the neck off of it. This rug, like I say, I love the concept of it. Perfect for in the stable at night, that kind of thing. But they spin these rugs. Like I know of, so this one's mine and I know of two or three other clients that have got them and they all do the same thing on varying different horses and ponies. They move. These rugs always move, it would seem. So for that reason, I wouldn't personally buy it. Because like I say, I know too many people that have them and these rugs just spin and you just find them like halfway hanging off them the other side. So yeah, love the idea of them. But this particular brand I find doesn't stay put when on them. Next up, we have the Weather Beater. I think this was advertised as a fly rug. I actually had one maybe last year and this is Billy. Billy who's modeling it kindly. This is his rug. Now, I have a feeling this rug isn't the most expensive. I'll probably put it up on the screen or 
it's one of the more cheaper rugs and do you know what it's a nice material i know bells i know you don't have to chew me though it's like a nice material but it's just not got the same quality as some of the other rugs that i'm showing in my selection um one of the things i don't like about it very much is these front buckles if billy will let me show you they this rug always goes super tight and falls back really easily and it just sort of never like the, it never stays done up on its velcro very well um and i just know that every time you put it on within like an hour or so it's really tight against their shoulder and it's happened with billy in this rug and it happened with mine when they had this rug so i don't rate this rug that highly i must say i because of the way it fits and slipping back so much i don't find it particularly great um so it's not one i would highly recommend but that may be just the type of horses we've got i don't know but so while it's oh don't start itching now while it's still lovely and clean i've actually bought cute a new fly rug um this is mark todd and i think it was an ultra light which I remember having one of the old ones which was like this and had the like little neck piece here but it was a lot thicker but I decided that that was fine um, but obviously I didn't really take note of the one I brought um, because this is a much more sort of fine kind of you can see like a much more of a net um, it's not like totally net it's not like the horse wear um, Mia but I mean it's nice a little tighter around the shoulders than I was expecting um he's got the six foot six which is what size he is but the neck's nice but the reason i got this rug is because i remember last time this little neck piece here just helped reduce rubbing so i thought i'd give that another go especially you know when they're out in the field and they're stretching down all the time you know how tough it's going to be and if he is having a really strong rub against his walls or up against the door i don't know how yes hello I don't know how tough it's going to be, but other than that, it's a nice, it's a nice rug. The belly flaps nice and tight underneath. I might have forgotten a rug. <laughs> this is the next day. Um, I suddenly remembered last night. I was like, oh, I didn't get that rug out. So this is the Rambo protector. Bought it because in the middle of summer when it gets really hot, the boys were getting a little bit too warm under their fly rugs and sweet itch rugs. And you'll see, this is like a tough mesh but obviously lets all the air through. And being that tough, it's a little bit better with the flies. Like I feel like the flies can't get through quite as easily. If you can hear that noise in the background, it'll be arty. Trying to get his, get over the door. Um, yeah, so this is why I bought it. They're not cheap. They're around 120 pounds, but I got this half price. I probably wouldn't pay full price for it. But the one thing with horseware is that it's good quality and they last like the feel of it you just know this is something that's going to be robust and as i've said numerous times my horses are really destructive because of being so itchy and sweet itch and allergies and the whole shebang um that i need rugs that are fairly tough so yeah it's beautifully made anything i have noticed and i literally only brought it back out is that it's rusted a little bit which is disappointing because I don't know, didn't notice any of my other fly rugs had rusted over the winter. But yeah, it's got some rust on there, which is not brilliant. Um, it's not that old either. It's like I say, I got it last summer. The only other thing that I found with it is that the front of it gets quite tight. Now, I don't know if that's just corporal and his body shape. And he does struggle a little bit with rugs being tight around the chest. But yeah, that would be the only thing I found with it. It gets a little tight around the chest. Finally, the Shires Highlander Sweet Titch Rug. Great value for money. This rug fits really nicely. The material's good quality. It feels like a good quality rug, which I think Shires rugs are. I do really rate Shires rugs. Um, it has the ear hole, so you keep the neck up. The only thing I found with it is that for someone like Artie, who has quite severe Sweet Titch, he managed to rub a hole in the tail flap quite quickly. So I wouldn't personally buy him another one. But if you've got a horse that has low-grade Sweet Titch, or someone like Corporal who just really hates the flies and just a little bit itchy, then I think this rug is perfect. And at that price, it's even better. So highly rate this rug.